Hello. Hello, world. If I don't fucking like you, then I don't fucking <laughs> like you. Oh dear. I'm a clay shy, I'm a clay shy, I'm a clay shy, I'm a clay shy. There's been some chatter. The chatter says he sold it. Bullshit. Or it's broken. Bullshit. And it's gonna cost so much money to fix. No shit. But Chinese whispers, I'm afraid. She's running beautifully. Let me tell you a quick story. And the quick story is, I bought a book on the 999. This book sucks. And uh, because I just thought, oh, that's a very beautiful motorcycle, and uh, I decided to buy a book on it. Then 44 teeth go ahead, and then they go and bloody do th the budget bike battle. Italia. Budget Bike Battle Italia! And there was a 999 on there, so it's like, alright, I'll watch that. Buongiorno! So, say hello to this. This is my baby. This is a 2004 Ducati 999S Mono. I'll just leave that little bit in there. Mono. So I watched it, and the next thing you know, it's all over social media. Hey, buy the MV! Hey, buy the 999! They're on eBay! I was like, I'll have a look, see what, the, see what the prices are doing, you know, I thought I'd hope, I'd hope to get it for like 1500 quid. <laughs> you ain't ever gonna get this candy. <laughs> because on its way back from Mugello in Spain, the bike, this bike, puked all of its oil out and oh god, oh that was all horrible. So, I'd put a bid in, and I got outbid, and, well, I was winning, I think I was winning for half a day, <laughs> and then I got outbid by several people, and uh, I left it, that was that, I was just like, bro, this such is my life, it's fine, I didn't have any more money anyway. Come on, baby, come here, run it up, run it up, oh, baby. Three days later, I got a phone call going, oh, you're winning! Because I, I tweeted it that, you know, I wasn't the highest bidder anymore and good luck and all that sort of stuff, I suppose. I don't know if I actually said good luck or, or fuck you or something like that to the fucking bastard fat cat who won it for like 15 grand. That was all happening in my head. I don't know, man. I was banging seven gram rocks and finishing them because that's how I roll. I have one speed. I have one gear. Go. I don't know. People buy this sort of stuff and then they, they put it on walls. You must have seen the... The social media pictures of people with 916s on their walls, in their lounge and in their offices, and fat cat bankers with Ducatis at home, lines of them. With the proudest statement this guy said on one of this bike's never been run. This one is brand new, never been started. I found it in Italy about uh, 10 years ago and never been started. Very proud of that one. So it's like, what, 16, 20 years old or whatever, some kind of GP bike, whatever, and it's never been run, supposedly. And that made me sad. This guy collects Ducatis and puts them all around his house and in hallways, like rows of them. And his proudest moment is that particular bikes have never been turned over. Again, never been started. The dog of the range, of course. The 999, bit of a dog to look at. Again, never been started. Bought this in a case, so it's never been started. Never been started. I think that's sad. Come on. This bike doesn't go slow. It's actually quite difficult to make it go slow. <laughs> it just wants to go. Uh, so, I was on the phone to uh, team principal of a uh, motorcycle race team and I just videoed it for fun, or maybe I didn't video it. Somebody else in the office videoed it. It was a, there was a video of it. Because in the description it says it has a power band in every gear. <laughs> Thirty seconds, and I'm going no, 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 no. And I wasn't even logged into eBay. I was using like a work computer. Oh my god! Twenty, 20 seconds. Oh my god! This is where somebody puts in the killer bid now. It's going to move. 16 seconds. And I was just watching it and I was refreshing the page. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. And then 
the team principal at the end of the phone, he goes, and you want it. Ten, no. Nine, eight, seven, no. Six, five, what? Four, three, two, one. Sweet. Yeah, that's, it. Uh, <laughs> that's great. Excellent. Yeah. It's a really silly video because once I won, my brain was fried. And uh, yeah, then I then I contacted them and said, "Hey, I'm not paying by PayPal. I'll uh, I'll like transfer you the money and that." And dates were arranged, and then I went there, and they the MV had sold as well. But of course, nobody had fucking got the balls to pay for it. So uh, you got uh, you got my money? Huh? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll pay you soon. So I went up to Barnstormer and. There was this bike in the Barnstormer showroom, which is BMW, of course. And uh, the guys were like really good. They uh, they shook me upside down and got every last penny out of my pockets. And then uh, wished me adieu and, and that was it. I took the motorcycle home. From that point on, I did a, a video which annoys me it was a video where i got two cardboard boxes with the bike and i was so busy at work i hadn't looked in the boxes so i did a video and it was going to be a live stream on boxing day but the video quality was crap so i just recorded it edited it and it was still crap <laughs> put it up on youtube does it bend oh and it's fallen apart what's in the box and the amount of hate i got was insane i mean guys whatever you know I, I have not deleted so many comments holy crap people really fucking hate Ducati don't they god almighty they really fucking hate 44 teeth they really fucking hate Ducati fucking Ducati they really fucking hate anybody who's got Jesus there's, a, there's like a little army of the twats Dislike. I took this motorcycle apart which is why she runs so beautifully now and I mean I stripped it I stripped it and uh, surprisingly the parts were not expensive I think the most expensive was air filters from Piper Gross 85 quid everything else was really cheap so I recorded all of these videos to uh, show the rebuild of the 999 and but with the comments still pouring in toys just let your kids play on the road We'll get exercise and will prevent overpopulation. Or better yet, eat them! I mean, they were quite vile as well. You fucking rule! Hey, that isn't a nice word. My daughter said it after watching these videos. I slapped her after she said, fuck off. Yeah, man, it's the most sexy name I've ever heard. I'd like to fuck you inside the asshole. And I'm just, I'm just a working guy who bought a motorbike, you know? I'm not some fat cat wanker. So this is uh, the very first 916. Just the most beautiful thing. I mean, look at it, it's just art. In fact, I have one in the kitchen, which I'll show you. Who buys a motorcycle to have a, some kind of prized possession. I just got caught out in the moment. I bid for the bike. I won it. Rather than coming up with excuses and going, oh, oh, I've got a christening to pay for a holiday. Fuck, I stumped up the fucking money. Do you know what I mean? I didn't have any more than that. I just stumped it up. Ooh. Deep break. Ooh. Gave the guys the money. Now be like shocked. Like have your hands over your face. Like you're as emotional as you can be. So like have your hand reaching for it and then like be like shocked. Like you're, yeah. Here, you hand him the money and let me get a shot. Spread out the money as much as you can. And then that was it. So, uh, yes, uh, so over, over winter I stripped it, put it all back together. Um, my biggest expenditure was, yeah, probably flashing the spare ECU because it wasn't running right, was it? It wasn't running right. They know that on the dyno, it ran like a bag of shit. So, uh, how did that go? Not quite to plan. No. Um, we've only got 120. Okay. But, you know, is it, is it point zero 
So I kept the, the running ECU, the one that worked the best, and then sent the other one off and mud torpedo, they flashed it. They sent it back to me and uh, well, she's run good. It's also had other things. It's had new injectors, which Ducati wanted too much money for, and I was able to find a supplier in China. I like China. 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 People say, oh, you don't like China. No, I love them. Who actually might even have made the injectors. I don't know, but they're, they're an absolute perfect replica with the same numbers on them. Um, coil packs and all that sort of stuff, but they're not the originals. They're superseded and spar keys and a service and cam belts and the tensioners and uh, you know oh it went on and on and on get on with it yes get on with it yeah! and each day i'd find something else and they'd be like there were there have been some electrical repairs as well because wires do chafe and you can see other people in the past had chased electrical repairs because they'd cut the sheath open and not put it back together again because how would you so yeah so fixed a lot of things that needed fixing and she just runs so well it starts on the button now it's really good oh my god Ooh. Butter, 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 butter. that's the noise it makes butter, butter, butter.